Okay, I'm back at the R model Mac, or at least the back of it anyway. Uh, I got some plate steel here that I had. It's 316 thickness, which is actually probably a sixteenth of an inch thicker than what that trunnion originally was made from. So what I'm thinking of doing is just wrapping it. Well, I know what I'm going to do with it. it. There's two things I got to do with it. I'm either going to cut a strip here. About, I got to measure anyway, but I got to measure and I'm going to cut a strip and then I'll, I'll cut it into the right length so that it comes up the trunnion quite That's a way. That's the bottom side of that. As you can see this gaping, gaping hole. Well, where can, there it is. There's that gaping hole. I got that gaping hole there and then that crack that goes up the back. It looks like the, I don't know, the mouth of the Mississippi maybe. Uh, as you yeah. can see. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut some more of that out of there. Uh, just because it's ugly. Um, like right down in here, this is really thin. It really doesn't matter because I'm going to grind this here where I got that bird crap weld. Or, you know, I'm going to grind that all off of there. Got my grinder down here. And I'll get that square. I'm probably just going to lay that flat. I'm going to measure that flat iron here, up here, the length of this, which I'm thinking is about six inches, and then I think four inches. So six, seven for the corner eight nine ten say eleven inches ten inches I probably would get away with all right because the center of the trunnion is well it does it's got a crack right there no good but anyway the center of the trunnion isn't just too got awful bad other than that crack uh, I'm probably gonna beat that back in there uh, and then I have to cut this notch I gotta cut this notch out of here so that I can weld the new piece in all the way up and around and make it nice and strong. So anyways, I'm going to grind on it now. I know there's a lot of babbling going on, but it is the way it is. It's just difficult to explain how I have to do this. Okay, um, yeah, I've got this uh, steel all measured out here. What I need is a 10 inch deep piece. That'll be the height of it. And seven and a half inches across to the center. So I'm going to have this little piece sticking out the top there. I don't know, I might use it someplace else, but I need two pieces of that. And then what I'll have to do is cut a V. Boom. Like that, all the way across. So I'm going to weld it to the flat side of the trunnion. And yeah, on the flat side of the trunnion. And then I'm going to heat it. And I'm going to start to tap it. So I'll do the flat side, the side and the bottom, and the top. And then I'll heat it. And it should just fold its way right on around the trunnion on both sides. And I'll cut that out the center, and it should meet pretty close in yeah, the middle. I've got it all ground, nice and shiny, all the way up to the top there. Uh, that hole there that's in the middle, that won't matter. Because it'll be welded far below, well, right down at the base of the old part of the trunnion. And up in the top where there's absolutely no rust. So... In all honesty, it'll probably be stronger than the original. Uh, I was going to use this four inch piece of angle iron, but it's quarter inch thick, which is fine, but it won't reach all the way across and it won't be smooth across the, the sides of the trunnion when I bend it. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to cut this now with a torch. So I'm not going to, I got to get that thing fired up. It should be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so maybe I get some torch action going on. Okay. Ooh, torch here fired up. Might be a little hot. Put some good gloves on to save you some nasty burns. That's the voice of experience talking. Anyway, let me get my glasses off here. Yeah, these aren't the best cuts. Uh, I think the torch tip needs to be cleaned. Something terrible. But, yeah, that's actually about a sixteenth of an inch thicker than the original. So, yeah, that's just a bunch of crappy old slag there. But, all in all, the cuts aren't too bad. This 
that section out that needs to go. You see that divot that's down in there? Well, that's the that's a weldable spot on there, and I need to be able to weld that. I don't want to weld it to that cast piece that's down below. Well, I think it's cast steel, not cast iron, but still, it's uh, it is machined, so it's probably cast steel. But anyway, just make it look nicer and probably stronger if I did it that way anyway. So anyway, I'm gonna grind these up here and. Uh, I'll get started welding here pretty soon. I have to go pick Tim up. Okay, I'm under this truck. It's really tight quarters in here and uh, doing some welding. I overlapped it at the center there, uh, one with the other. I heated it up there and bull peen hammered the thing so it's flat at the top and at the bottom. And it is welded in. You can see it looks pretty okay. Uh, now I'm gonna run a bead of heat. Well, I'm gonna run heat right on straight down there and fold it around the corner on both sides. So, yeah, and that should fill it in really nicely. So, Tim's gonna get my gas going and I should be up to go. Okay, here's a top side view of it. Um, yeah, got my welds in there. I don't know, they're not the greatest, I guess. Well, they ain't bad. For where I'm at, I mean, I'm on the top now, but underneath there, boy, what a job that was. But, you can see how I overlapped it in the center take up some of that uh, weakness where it was cracked up really bad in the center so that doubles it up in the middle uh, should be good uh, the bottom's all welded up nice um, sides yeah we're pretty good there so now I gotta move over to the other side which is gonna take a little bit of time because I gotta crawl under there reheat it and do it all over again so Mr. Tim over there see Mr. Tim hey Mr. Tim yeah you're helping yeah. <laughs> I got two things going at once. You and this. Yeah, I know. I see. You got your little go-kart I'll do going. the first run of his go-kart myself. But anyways, right now, we're working on a trunnion. So that'd be underneath there. And that's where I'm going right now. Underneath. Give me that light. Give me the light. Okay. There it is. All welded up. No more holes. I heated it up. Hey Tim, did you shut the gas off today and torches? Yes. Okay. Now it was a little thin over here in the corners. So I just laid a bunch of bead down on there. Welded that shut. Braid right on over to the other side of the flat iron on the trunnion. Uh, yeah. Everything on the bottom side looks deliciosus. <laughs> looks great. So, that's it. Doubled up the pressure there, the, the doubled up the, the steel there on that weld. It's very tight and under here. Anybody who's been under a Mack truck knows these son of bitches, there ain't much room. But all the way around the entire thing, it looks wonderful. No cracks in the front side, no cracks on the bottom side, no cracks up there. We're all good. Brand new. Woohoo! Looks good to me. Alrighty, I'm gonna do the outside tomorrow.